Hi there, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to improve the particle dissolve effect and make it more realistic and more natural. With this improved particle dissolve effect, we can easily create all kinds of dynamic, cool looking particle dissolving and explosion effects. Combined with the essential mask effect, it's also easy to dissolve part of an image directly in the edit page. If you haven't seen the previous video about dissolve effect, you can click the link up here, or use the link in the description below. Previously the dissolving effect was animated by wiping off the image using a rectangle mask effect. But it lacks the flexibility to wipe in different directions, we can only animate the wiping effect either horizontally or vertically. And this simple wiping animation effect also appears artificial and dull. To improve this effect, we will start from what we have done last time. This is the text plus clip we used to make this effect. Go to the Fusion page. And in the Node Editor, we already have the node tree we built previously. Bring the rectangle node to the left side viewer, as we move the playhead, the mask moves from left to right and wipe off the text title. To make this animation more realistic and natural look, we will use the Fast Noise node, one of my favorite tools in Fusion for making visual effects in DaVinci Resolve. Disconnect both rectangle and the instance nodes from the node tree. Add a Fast Noise node to the editor and bring it into the left viewer. Alt drag the output to the first channel booleans node, release button and select effect mask. This connects the fast noise node and uses it as a mask input. Switch to the color page in the inspector, change the color type to gradient. Set the gradient type to linear. Change endpoint x value to about 0 0.2. Change the alpha channel to 0 so that black color turns transparent. Move the white color to the middle of the gradient bar. When we change the offset, the fast noise moves and acts like a mask. To change edge style, go to the noise page. We can adjust the noise pattern with these parameters. Detail, contrast and scale are the ones we often use to change the noise patterns. You can play around with these settings and see how they affect the result. Back to the color page. Make sure the playhead is at the beginning. Add a keyframe for the offset parameter. Change the values so that we have a full white fast noise, so the entire text is visible. Move to the end and change the offset until the text title is completely gone. A new keyframe is automatically added when the value is changed. Play the clip, the text is now dissolved away much more naturally. If you want a more linear effect, you can go to the Noise tab and reduce the scale or contrast. For example, something like this. When setting the scale or contrast to zero, the effect turns to a straight wiping like using a rectangle mask. I feel that the wipe edge is a bit too soft. Select the channel booleans node. Go to the settings tab in the inspector. We can lower the mask high setting to sharpen the edge. To check the wiping effect only, we can bring the channel booleans node into the left viewer. We now have made a noise wiping effect to wipe off the main text title. Make a copy and paste an instance of the noise node. Connect the instance node to the second boolean node as the effect mask input. Bring the instance node to the viewer. Go to the color page in the inspector. Deinstance the offset parameter and double click to reset. Modify the offset with a simple expression. Link to fast noise nodes offset, minus 0 
If we bring the original fast noise node to the right viewer, we can compare the differences. As we move forward, both noises move to the right, but the instance is a bit behind. For the particle emitter, we only want to use a slice of the image to render particles. So we connect the main noise node to the instance as effect mask input. Go to the settings tab of the instance node. Check the option, apply mask inverted. The instance node is now limited to a slice area, which is used to select the image part for particles. Bring the media out to the right side viewer, play the clip. We now have the wiping animation replaced with a fast noise node, the final result is much more realistic and pleasing. And we can easily change the wiping style and direction. For example, we can use the on-screen control to move the start point to the top. It now wipes from top to the bottom. Or move the start point to the right, so it dissolves the text from right to the left. We can also select different gradient types to have different wiping styles. For example, set to reflect, move the start point to the middle. It will start from the center and wipe out on both sides. Or select the uni type to dissolve the image globally without any directional wiping effect. With the fast noise node, we have the flexibility to change the dissolve style to almost anything we want. To use the effect in the edit page, you can download the template using the link in the description below. Once it's applied to the clip, we get a burning or eroding-like effect while dissolving the image. In the inspector, all the particle-related controls are remaining the same as in the previous version. The main differences are the controls at the top. The animation controls are now moved to the top as the first section. The animation time and time offset are used to control when and how long the animation runs from wipe start value to wipe end value. By default, the animation runs through the entire clip duration with the time value set to zero. Setting it to any number greater than zero, the animation will complete in the given number of frames. For example 60, the animation runs for 2 seconds. To delay the animation, we can set the delayed frames as time offset, let's say 30 frames. Now animation starts after 1 second. Wipe start and wipe end are used to define whether wiping starts and ends visually, because different images and clips have different sizes, we can adjust these two values to set the animation precisely. In this case, move the playhead to the beginning. Change the start value, so that it runs not too soon or too late. For simplicity, let's set the time offset back to zero. Since we set the animation to two seconds, we move the playhead forward two seconds from the beginning, which is the end of the animation. Adjust the end value to make sure the entire image is wiped off from the screen. The next group are the settings for adjusting the dissolve pattern, which are the parameters from the fast noise node. I've demoed most of the usage earlier in the Fusion page. You can play around and see how they impact the final result. We can select different dissolve types in this drop-down list to control how to dissolve away the image. Linear is the default. In this mode, we can move the start and end point to change the wiping direction and distance. If we turn on the fusion overlay, we can easily move the points around to make the change. Move the start point to the right, so it wipes from right to left. Shortening the distance from the start to end point, we can get a sharper edge and a more linear wiping effect. 
Because we changed the wipe distance, we will need to adjust the wipe end value in order to wipe off the full image. Changing the type to radial, we can create an effect that is wiping outside from the center. In this case, we move the start point to the center. To see the wiping out animation more clearly, we can set the noise scale to zero. Now we see a circle wiping out. Or change the type to reflect, we will get an effect of wiping out to both left and right sides. To change the softness of the wiping edge, we can adjust the soft edge parameter. The rest of the settings are used to control particle styles, they are the same ones as we talked about in the last video. If interested, you can check the details in the last video. The link is in the description below. If we only want to dissolve part of the image, we can apply a mask effect. Click this little up arrow to move the mask before the dissolve effect so it will be processed before the dissolve effect. Change the mask type to polygon. We can invert the mask so that we know where to draw the mask. In the viewer, draw a polygon to define the mask area. Adjust the mask if needed. Uncheck the invert option once we are done with drawing. Select the particle effect. Move the start and end points to set the wiping direction and distance. Change the wipe start and end to adjust the timing of the animation. Set animation time to 1 second, which is 30 frames. OK, this is good. Alt drag the clip to make a copy of the clip. Select the clip at the bottom. In the inspector, invert the mask. Delete the particle effect. Now we have partially dissolved an image. If you feel the edge is too clean, select the top clip. In the inspector, select the mask effect. Increase the rough edge value. You can disable the bottom clip temporarily to see the mask result. Adjust the edge style if needed. Copy the clip. Enable the bottom clip. Select the bottom clip. Press Alt V to open the Paste Attributes window. Check the Fusion Effects option. Apply. Invert the mask selection. Delete the dissolve effect. OK, we dissolved a corner of the image with a rough edge selection. You can check the video up here for more information about the rough edge mask effect. Alright, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.